just went live, so I will be here. Looked at my party and remi reminded myself that I'm not allowed to have a 16 member. <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> yeah. Also, I, I found out... Killed I my <laughs> drive <laughs> yesterday. <laughs> I also feel like an idiot, because in a separate playthrough I had, I found out that you actually can still get to the Black Sludge area. Oh. Cool. Yeah, I have no idea how I missed that. Oh, so you can go get that now, then. <laughs> yep, and I have to go there anyway. So you're going to be on YouTube because... again, right? Yep. Partially out of convenience, to be honest. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because once you uh, do the stream there, doesn't it just stay on YouTube? It should. Yeah, it makes it easier. Yep, I see the one from yesterday. Or the day before yesterday. Dude. I hope you're not under that bed, Severus. That's what I thought, yeah. Come on, get out of there. <laughs> Thank you. I don't know if you saw, but I found an open world emerald <laughs> uh, game that the ROM had. How's that? It has, uh, How's that even work? Uh, you can start in whatever town you want, and the battles across the entire game scale to you uh, how many gym badges you have. Makes sense. Mm -hmm. And they give you a, there's a certain set of starters that you can get when you first start. It was like a list of like random Pokemon, but most of them were two stage. Stuff like Sandy Gast, Q Fent, uh, Meowth, nice. stuff like that. Nice. And it's pretty cool. It has a lot of features. You can set up like double battle mode. You can set perfect IV mode or no uh, EVs mode. Nice. Mm -hmm. It's pretty neat. Okay, I'm 90% sure this is the save file from this floor. Mm -hmm. I, did a I did a terrible job of organizing it. Yep, this is the one. I have like a folder for the race save file. <laughs> and then when I'm playing the other one, I just put the save file on like the desktop. Fair enough. My poor primate. He didn't deserve that. That was some bullshit, too. I remember that. He got crit psychic. <laughs> Alright, that's what happened. And then your Gallade also got crit. Yep. When I was trying to train the Muck. And then the Muck got crit. Last stream was like just a string of unfortunate events for my team. Or what I was trying to make my team. Because Zoomerill died on the episode before that. I still haven't had a 16 member. Okay, the stream is up. Awesome. Yep, I just got the notification that you went live. And I am in. Nice. Looking at your Jolly Darumaka. Start the line with that one. Hey, it's good that it's giving you good encounters now. 
Honestly, now with good planning, I should be good for a while, assuming no bad luck happens, but... Yeah. We already know the name of that game. <laughs> yeah, that's all up to the, uh, the Nuzlocke gods at this point. <laughs> it may or may not happen. Uh, I don't know what I want to use. <laughs> I don't want to put another psychic type on the team. Psychic types seem cursed for you. Well, no, psychic types usually go well. Fire types are the ones to get their backs blown out. <laughs> and I'm just left there like, why? <laughs> All right, I should be good to go. All right, well, you want to do a three, two, one? Let me double check my stuff for it. Yeah, I can do a three, two, one. Okay. Well, three, two, two, one. One, go. All right, who am I replacing Primeape with? <laughs> Let me go put him in the cemetery. I think I continue with my with my grinding as plans, and then actually I go to level forty for now. Head back to Castelia, keep my team for Watson. Get over there, and, and the then go. Sludge. Don't forget the black sludge. <laughs> yep. Then go grab the ice stone. Get Evie. Train on the way back. Uh, this is so sad. Azumarill, also, Gallade, Muck, Primate. That also, looking at Charles's team, I'm thinking of bringing Heracross for that battle. Mm -hmm. Basically, I have a plan for it, but I have to one-shot everything. Which, with the team I have, I think it's very possible, but I may lose one or two things. So I'm going to try to figure out how do I want to approach that. Yeah. Well, it's definitely doable, and your team has the bulk for it. It's just, it's, you know, Charles is an ass, so it's gonna be hard. Yep. <laughs> All my All right. hate Charles. <laughs> Grinding so speed up. Almost forgot about that. I also have an interesting strategy for Elisa, where I'm thinking of going, of giving Lantern Stoke so I can hit Electabuzz hard with Sceptile. That is an interesting idea. I'm going back to my original idea before I decided Muck and, you know, everyone else that died. I'm going to try Vespaquin. Speaking of so. Oh, did you just learn it? And I, yep. And I don't really need the... I don't need the psychic coverage because Polygon already has it. And yeah. I don't expect Polygon to die anytime soon, but you never know. We've got... And we have Gotharita in the back anyways. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you more than likely won't end up needing it. On Lantern. I know I didn't. I'm trying to pick out... I'm trying to pick out is how I'm going to train up Glaceon. Because I can't use his breeder because of the... This... Bonsai knows rollout. Mm -hmm. And this... And this... Audino likes to attack me, so... I guess maybe wild audinos? EXP show, maybe? Or that. Right, dude... Come on, level up, Combi. <laughs> I just need you to evolve so I can trust you to kill these, uh, Audinos. No, I did not mean to use Thunderwave. But thank you for being paralyzed anyway.
I don't imagine Watson is anything for my team at level 40. At least with Watson. I know the Pikachu definitely does, and that's gonna uh, be it. There we go. Alright, Vespa Quinn has been evolved. Stop. No. Mm. You can't choose shoes. As a matter of fact, give me this. Is your puppy doing? Is your puppy doing its thing again? Yeah, he pulled a shoe off the shoe rack. <laughs> yes, Tux. Today I have decided that Vespa Quinnitz might be my best bet for getting a teammate who is decent, but also does not have the same typing as like the rest of my team. <laughs> now, can Vespa Quinn get Venom Shock? Yes, it can. Okay. Wait, Already. it does. It does now. I don't know if it always did, yeah. but it just learned it. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised, but that's still weird. I was just thinking, I was like, okay, I need it to be able to learn a poison-type move. Try attack with wishful thinking, but it would have been nice. You know what? Vespaquin is a true lord. Vespaquin is truly a lord. Okay, so Dyramaka, okay, so two levels away from Flare Blitz, and then I can actually use it because I don't have to worry about Hustle anymore. Doesn't get Focus Blast. Why would I ever use Focus Blast on a Dyramaka? I was talking about my Vespa Quinn. I'm going through two oh. games. <laughs> that, that makes sense. Does get Power Gem, though. I think I'm a that, could, that could be good for the Charizards. Mm -hmm. It's a modest Vespa Quinn too, so special attack is definitely going to be the way to go. Speaking of power gem, did I ever get that? Because I didn't, I am right there. So I may as well get it now, before I go all the way out. I know at some point Vespa Quinn gets... Air Slash, but I might have already passed it since it was a level 44 combi when I caught it, so... Off to the PWT for the 8 millionth time this run. <laughs> oh, wait, so could help help with the auto now. Because I can make it a water type and hit it with an electric move. True. Hmm. Well, you yeah, get There's toxic a... spikes. I would teach that to you. <laughs> yep. That could be situational, but still good. Yeah. I'm thinking I might teach it Defend Order, though. What does that even do? Boost defense and special defense. That sounds good. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it also has Heal Order. And definitely attack order over bug buzz. What am I doing? What are you doing? Yeah, attack order is base 100 with 100 accuracy and a high critical hit ratio. <laughs> definitely attack order over bug buzz. The Vespa Quinn signature is kind of going crazy. Okay, yeah, I'm so the play because it turns a 3 hit KO into a 2 hit KO. Toxic Aromatherapy, there's Air Slash. Which doesn't seem like much because I have to use a third turn anyway, but it saves me power points on my attacking moves. I, mean, I don't have to go back to the Pokemon Center as much. Just give orders? I don't want to just give orders. I want it to. I need it to be like a special attacker, which it can be in this now. But like, I need it to be able to dish out damage. Now we train. I don't know why I flew to Driftvale, because I was right next to it. <laughs> but whatever. Why did you fly to Driftvale? I don't know why I do some of the stuff I do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
I'll go battle Watson, and then I'm gonna train to level 45 for the gym. Sounds like a good plan. But after I get that, I'm not Oh, don't have time. Sorry. Time for level grinding. I do love me a best of win. Oh, snap. I have a feeling like kind of best of win came with what? Intimidate, too. <laughs> best ability in the, in the game for a Nuzlocke. Yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> Thinking this Vespa Quinn might work out. Said the three mons had to die. Well, four if you count Azumarill, but. <laughs> the amount of time learned Fire Blitz. Which means I can finally let the thing evolve. <laughs> yes, Tux, the Queen has in fact arrived. The gorilla has also arrived. I had one of those. He got cooked. I'm, I'm either going to lose the scene immediately, or it's going to carry me through things. Literally. That's what happened to me. It died instantly. <laughs> the game was like, nope, you cannot keep that. Not down to walk 30 minutes in the heat. Yeah, that sounds awful. I wouldn't do that either. Oh, wait. I traded one Sheer Force Fire type for another Sheer Force Fire type. No. You did not just go and grab another Sheer. You're going to make me close, the, close you in here. And then you're going to be upset. No. Get from under the bed. If you bring another shoe in here, I'm closing the door. <laughs> Boy, one shot this chancy. 10 levels lower, but still. One shot it with a special nice. attack. <laughs> nice. Oh, wait, I forgot to go up top. I have to go back there anyway, so get it on the way back. Probably should have okay, taken right the right for uh, Vespa Quinn. <laughs> All I needed to know was that it gives Intimidate now. <laughs> Stats are not bad for level 47. They're pretty good, actually. It's decently bulky. Good special attack. Where on earth is my Eevee? Oh, wait, I know where it is. Is it in the cemetery? No, Graveler has it. Oh, okay. I was about to say, you'd have to dig up a Pokemon to get the Eevee light out of his hands. <laughs> Honest? Actually... You feel like Graveler could be really good for this gym. For Alisa, yeah, absolutely. Is there a massive benefit to being a special attacker? Um, I have a full team of physical attackers, so I need one. <laughs> uh, the, benefit is, the benefit is so he doesn't get walled. Yeah, so I don't get walled by something that has like stupidly high physical defense. Like, I don't know, Avalog. Not the best example, because he's weak to everything. Avalog isn't even in the game. Avalog's in this game. Avalog came in Gen oh, 6. I... Oh, I have... Avalog came in Gen 6. Did it? Yeah. I could have swore. Nope, you're one generation later. I do have a better example, though. Skarmory. Yeah, that one. Skarmory, Ferrothorn. I know there's another one that comes to mind. You've never had a Blissey Tux? They're okay. 
by okay, I mean they're like the bane of most people's existence because they're stupidly good on stall. <laughs> Gen 8 made them good on offense too because they well, yeah, teleport. teleport. Teleport on a freaking special defensive like oh, what, it, rock. 50 or something like that and then 250 base hp they 255 255 base hp and they gave it teleport or they made tele it already got teleport they just made teleport do what it does now <laughs> okay let me get out of lantern real quick yeah there previously was no reason to give blissey teleport but um there was no reason to give anything teleport unless you were doing a normal run in the game. But now, there is definitely many, many reasons to give any Pokemon teleport. On Slowbro, specifically, it lets it become an absurdly good pivot wall with Regenerator. Slow King too. Uh, Slow Pivot. Galarian Slow King is, like, stupid good at it. Yeah, hey, Galarian Slow King, at least... It does that, but the most common set, at least in OU, is Assault Fest, and it, just because... Oh, right, Tapas. Specifically, so you want the Tapas. Yeah. Um, what does Teleport does it, do? It, I mean, it, it still wolf the Tapas, you just can use Teleport, you just use a different item. Oh, uh, te uh, Teleport... Teleport is a... What? An anti-priority move, I guess? In the sense of, you will always you will usually go last yeah, but you but you can pivot and they but you can use it as a pivot but you can use it as a pivot a level switch or flip turn u-turn etc so think um you know how when you switch a pokemon at the begin and it always happens at the beginning of a turn and then the pokemon comes in and it gets hit that doesn't happen if you use teleport because it goes last so the other pokemon does their move and then you teleport yeah. No, oh, but teleport is an insanely good pivot tool. Does it do damage? No damage, but it lets you get stuff in for free, which is crazy. Especially when you have Pokemon that can switch out and heal themselves like Slowbro and Slow King. Yeah, Slowbro is the best example of the teleporter. Slowbro Slow King as well. Generally, it's good on Pokemon that are already bulky, that want to take the hate so they can get something really offensive and safely mm -hmm. and it also lets you bring in stuff that'll just counter whatever is in like the bulky mon will take the hit and then that they of the mon that they sent in to counter it and then you switch the bulky mon in for something infinitely more dangerous and then when they try to switch out then you set up with it and you pretty much can set up like game ending situations off of teleport very easily not even just that, it really puts a lot of teams together because mm -hmm. of how easily it lets you move everything around. Yep. Uh, I don't think I'm going to grab Eevee until I beat Watson. Just so I can have my full team. Makes sense. Also, Eevee like Graveler would specifically be so I don't I know I wall is up striker, but I really don't want to take that much from overheat mm -hmm. and put P2 already bulky enough. I don't imagine I would use P2 that much, but if I really need to, it's gotta, it'll, it'll be there. Alright, back in the sewers I go. Time for Black Sludge. Meanwhile. Vespaquin, I think, is going to work out very nicely. I wish I had the wise glasses. I don't know where to find them. There's the, fl There's the flame orb. Oh, right. I actually... You actually get to dodge the Chinchino guy pretty easily. Yeah, in the, the, the season. Water, or go to where the water would be. <laughs> yep. Where the hell is the black sludge? Not right there. That's a battle. It's right next to the end. Oh no, it's right next to the uh, that scientist lady's room. Yeah. yeah, I think it's that one actually. Mold breaker. 
Bubble Beam should one shot. I should have gave Beth the Quim Intimidate in the regular game. Dairumaka, cool, I fit on this thing too. If you look at it, and even in the regular games, Beth Quinn's stats are not bad. It just has a horrible typing. Absolutely atrocious. <laughs> Bug flying is a very bad typing. It's weak to so many things. Even just counting the stealth rock weakness, which already yeah. neuters so many Pokemon. But Gen 8 makes that workable. Mm -hmm. Which sucks, because Vespaquin actually does have, like, decent, like, defensive stats and a lot of utility moves. A lot of toxins built up today's experiment was... A potion. Gotta love potions. Damn it, you gave me a super potion last time. There's the black sludge. She said, here, have a potion. <laughs> She said, money's tight. <laughs> you get what you get, you don't throw a pet. <laughs> Alright, Beth McQuinn's almost ready to move on to that other breeder. Then I'll just fight him until it gets to level 65. And I'll give the muscle band to, to Dominatum. I wonder if Vespaquin will be one-shotting that Blissey with the attack order. <laughs> I know once I, I get you turned on, it's, it's, it's going to come into its own. But low-key thinking about it, I probably could take Vespaquin over there now. To the other. To where? Place. The second breeder. The one that's near uh, Miss Dalton. Well, you could. Breeder. But, sh but you know what you I mean. You could, but should you? I mean, I'm pretty sure I can one-shot um, Chime Echo and Kangaskhan with it. And then it's just Chansey I... doing Chansey things. I'm trying to remember how to get out of this area. Escape route? <laughs> okay, two there. I don't want to escape. One, you can't, and two, I have to get to the garden. So Glaceon is your favorite. Yes, it... I know. I have a nice stump. Glaceon is uh, one of my more favorite uh, EV types. It's pretty cool. Here, have this stone that's only would... for Glaceon. <laughs> it's, a, it's also one of my favorites, although Jolteon... Jolteon and Umbreon probably rank higher for me. My favorite is definitely Espeon. After Espeon is probably Sylveon, honestly, and then, um, Glaceon. Fair enough. I mean, they're all good, though. I like all the evolutions. Very cool mons in their own ways. Mm-hmm. Oh, come on, don't miss Air Slash on the Grottle. Let him set up Amnesia and kill him. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go send... I'm going to go send Tesla in to deal with Watson. Mm -hmm. Well, good luck on the Watson battle. Gotta find him first. Oh, you don't know where he is? I do, I just don't remember how specifically you get there. Found it. TM seventy flash. And my best one tried to learn revenge for whatever reason. <laughs> and I'm in the cafe. Battling Watson now. Oh, an Audino. Well, I would be happy to take you out as well on my way to And it's a Pikachu. With extreme speed. The 
Pikachu have extreme speed? Yes. I didn't know that. <laughs> didn't use it on me. It died on one. It died on one hit. Well, yes, yeah, a Pikachu. <laughs> Russell survived. Oh, a jack button. Into a mining. Electro ball. Bolt. Does this miner really have nothing to hit me? It's so really funny that he decided to send it in. That means that nothing else on his team has anything to hit you. Red card. Okay, P2, we're fine. Oh, that's why he went into mining. He wanted to get this thing away from me. <laughs> We're going back into Tesla. Volt switch, no. Stay right there. <laughs> Just bullying Watson's mining. <laughs> into a grass knot that did 12 damage. 13, actually. Actually, no, not even that. 16 damage. Either way, a trivial amount. It's lost on those grass not. But I'm so over level, it doesn't really matter. Mm -hmm. Also, it's a plus over <laughs> mining. <laughs> they're not really that good unless they're together. Which is why I don't. I wonder why they didn't make his uh, battle a double battle if they were gonna give him plus only minor. I'm pretty sure it's a double in challenge mode. Oh. Because there are a lot of battles in challenge. Because they make far more battles. Uh, you have to do a far more double and triple battles than in challenge mode. Mm -hmm. Including the gym leaders. And speaking of challenge mode, they did something evil with Clay. One, one, he has a guard shell. Awesome. And two, and two, he has instant sand for the entire battle. Also awesome. And there's, <laughs> they, and it's not even a sand setter. It's just always there. It's just in the gym. <laughs> yeah, it's. Okay, Vestalcorn. Just trying to catch you up to the rest of the team. And then we'll go take on uh, Drayden. Which I don't see me using you much for Drayden specifically. But you'll definitely come in handy after him. I can think of a few places that I can use you. Bubble Beam. Does my Porygon have the EVLI? Yes, it does. Cool. I can go swap it now. If it didn't, I would I wouldn't chance it. And a special attack boost. Which is going to get taken right away because of Snarl, but should be able to kill this thing now. Is it gonna snarl you? That's Porygon to you though. Yeah. I think it go for like it's the highest damaging move. Because because I swap it because I swapped into it, you used smile and then it went for Thunderbolt. Oh. It, because I swapped into it from Lantern so it couldn't go for Thunderbolt. Mm hmm Something in my head is saying go Dwayne. Pale Glow! Yay! And I have Sturdy, so I can risk this, in case it's Grass Knot. Like everything else on his team. <laughs> Didn't even get the chance to use it, if it, even if it did.
Okay, I'm gonna head back to the Pokemon Center and put EV on the team. Going to box Starmanitan for now. But I'll probably pull it back out later. Everyone, attack, attack, attack. Destroy this Chime Echo that killed Primate. Kill the Kangaskhan too. Alright, it did outrage. Let's see that bulk theft queen. <laughs> yep, there it is. That didn't hurt at all. Alright, and then the Chansey. Wow. What? So even the Chansey with this breeder with the higher level, it's still one shot with attack order. Nice. Yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> that's what I like to see in my newest special attacker. And speaking of special attackers, we now have a Glaceon. Cool. I've, I think this is the first ice type. But I've had in a couple of runs. You don't scare me, Chimico. You know it's weird. The only thing on his team that didn't get one shot by attack order was Kangaskhan. <laughs> Just strange, because Chansey definitely has more bulk on the special side. It's a wait. Does doesn't attack order count as a physical move, or was that wrong? Does it? I thought it was special. I'm not sure, but rather. He kits on the special side, like Psy Shock or Secret Sword, or the physical side. But I'm not sure about, to be honest. I could be remembering that move wrong. I almost never. Yeah. I've, I never see it used because no one uses Vespaquin normally. I found a Stardust. Yeah, again, I one-shot the Chansey and did not one-shot the Kangaskhan. It was like a three-hit KO on the Kangaskhan, which is weird. Maybe it is a physical move. That's what would make the most sense. It is, okay. I'm still going to keep it, <laughs> but... My Vespa Quinn, I think, is at... I mean, uh, modest, but... Attack order is just so stupidly powerful for it. It's still beneficial to keep attack order on it. Fair enough. I think I yeah I ran into a trainer by accident, but this is still fine because now I do need. I actually need the experience for EV. Mm -hmm. Get it ready for Elisa. Yeah. Actually, wait, what ability do I even have? Probably the hidden one. <laughs> I don't even remember what it is for um, Glaceon. Okay! What is it? Serene Grace! That is not the normal hidden ability, but it's not one that it normally gets either. <laughs> It's pretty good, though, on a Pokemon that's mostly going to be using Ice-type moves. That thing might actually just be broken. I was also checking the doc. It's Ice Beam at level 50 and Earth Power at level 52. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait, Servine, let me not stay in on this thing. I would love to test out my Glacier. I would love to bring in Darwin, 
but it I one it's ten levels lower, and two I don't have an ice move yet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> ah, black sludge. That's what I've been wanting to see for a while now. Well, at least I know that my Vesper coin will be able to one shot the Blissey. Actually, if I plan on using Terracost for Charles, do I just train it up now? I remember when they first made fairy types and I wondered why they didn't make Felicia a fairy type and then I thought about it and I was like, yeah, that shouldn't be a fairy type. That would be broken. In so many ways. Yeah. <laughs> I'll turn Heracost later, actually. Just because of the bond sign, I don't... I don't want to risk... A, I just don't want to risk the damage when I don't have to. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Tuck said, and I'll let it happen. <laughs> That's so rude. <laughs> <laughs> Fairy type Blissey would be so cheap. <laughs> it already comes in on dragons. Just bring it in for free on dragons at that point. <laughs> it does not come in for free on dragons. I didn't say that. I said it would if it was Fairy type. Oh, if it was, I said absolutely. It already comes in on dragons, but it'd be free if it was Fairy type. <laughs> About to say, it does not want to come in on Guard Shell or Dragonite or Salamence, but that's for Gen 5. That is the Gen 5 meta. On the special ones, yeah, it, you really. It I comes mean, in on Draco for Draco. In Draco in Gen 5, if I remember correctly. I ran both. It was a mixed attacker. Mixed Salamence was the best set to use on him. You have Outrage Draco, and you didn't even need coverage because Dragon was just that stupidly strong. <laughs> Although, it had the coverage, so if you wanted to use it, it could work. Yeah. But speaking of, I've been learning the advanced OU stuff. And by that, I mean Gen 3 OU. Mm -hmm. So, advanced OU. But, I'm looking at a mixed offense team, which is standard except in two ways. Mainly the, instead of Salamence and Tyranitar, it runs S, no, not S. Breloom and Charizard. Mm -hmm. Which I really like how that team runs. That sounds like a really interesting one. Um, which, never really had if you don't fairy know types. Not when they were fairies. I mean, they're good. Like, giving stuff fairy typing definitely helped it. Helped them. There's some stuff that still sucks, like Wigglytuff. But, I mean, even Wigglytuff in the lower tiers, you can make it work. I mean, fairy type was good enough that you had, for a while you had stuff in like the lowest tiers. They were good enough that there wasn't a fairy type there. Yep. Yeah, Wigglytuff and Clefable are both fairies now. Clefable is cheap. I love Clefable. There's a Clefable is arguably the biggest is arguably the biggest benefiter of getting the fairy type. Yep. It is also because the biggest it's middle finger to the base stat totals. <laughs> it always has been to be fair because if people started using that in gen 4 and they realized it does the exact same thing there yeah I've only had Wiggly twice I think in all of my runs of anything I've used Wiggly Tough a couple of times never Wiggly Tough from, from what I know is more of just a worse Clefable in almost every way pretty much I think it may have more HP, but mm -hmm. I think Clefable has a much wider move pool. Clefable's been good for years. Clefable's been good since, like, actually since, like, Gen 4. People just didn't <laughs> use it, but it was good back then, too. <laughs> Believe it or not, Moltres and Charizard went from 
Languish Voltaris is borderline and Charizard is in lower tiers, but now in Gen 3, they're both OU. Mm -hmm. What made that change happen? Okay, Moltres is actually legitimate. Well, I mean, yeah, Moltres is just good without Stealth Rocks, just in general. But Willow... It had Will-O-Wisp, but not much else did, and no nothing wants to swap into its Fire Blast. Mm -hmm. Charizard in general, it has the speed tie with Jirachi and Celebi, which are prominent and can one-shot things. Similar reason, nothing wants to swap in, and Blaze makes it even stronger than Moltres, which mm -hmm. is already a problem. And Molt... I don't know the specifics, but that's the gist of it. I wish I could have got a Clefable for this run. <laughs> I wanted one. I spoke it into existence at the beginning, and then it didn't happen. And it still hasn't. I've seen Clefairies. I know where they are. But I can't. I haven't gotten one. I think the first time I got a Paris, and I think this time I got a Rhyhorn in that cave. Yeah. Oh, right. You spoke of... I remember that. You got Ikui Buff instead. Mm hmm. I said, I'm going to get a Clefable. And then the egg hatched and it was an Iggly Buff. And I tried to use Wiggly Tough and that didn't work because it died before it became a, a Wiggly Tough. I do have an Iggly Buff now, though. I mean, I could use it. Clefable would, Clefable would still be fine in Fire Red, especially for how early you get it yeah. with the Moonstone. Yeah, Clefable would be really good for a Fire Red run. Although, once you get. Although it probably will struggle a bit in the late game, it's a really late game, but it should be fine in up till mid game. That depends, cause that move coverage is crazy. I'm trying to. And it is still bulky. <laughs> and there is a combine but I don't GM want. I know. Fire red and leaf green. But a solo fairy type is much easier to kill than solo. Than a solo normal type, or a pure normal. Yeah. Because the normal type doesn't resist anything, but that's when you just keep it alive. Don't know if I can make much use of it. I mean, it is. To be honest, I kind of want to run a safari team. Safari team would be cool, and a uh, fire raid. At least in advance, I think the fact that Tyranitar is everywhere, meaning you can't heal leftovers from the Sandstream. Oh, well, Tyranitar, I think he's talking about just running, like, the game. Uh, oh, the game? Cofable should be fun. But really, what... Stealth Rock is what made Cofable come to its own. Really shine, in my opinion, with the giant Wooful. More specifically, that it gets Stealth Rock. True, but I think even then it wouldn't be used. I think the reason that Clefable was really used is because it got Unaware and it got Magic Guard. It didn't get Unaware until Gen 5. I know. <laughs> That's when people started using it. Like, heavy. Because they didn't even use it like that in Gen 4. Yeah, Magic Guard specifically mm -hmm. is just really good. Magic Guard is so good. I love Magic Guard. I love every Pokemon that gets it. <laughs> it's 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 good on pretty much everything. It helps offensive Pokemon. Yeah, it helps offensive helps Pokemon. Defensive Pokemon. It just helps everything, guy. Yeah, it's literally just good. Executor was kind of broke at first. Executor is another one that slept on. It has really good stats, but it's like there's better Pokemon that do what it does. Like I was watching again, Poke. I like watching Poke game videos. Because the he'll do like he'll use like random Pokemon that aren't considered really strong, and then he'll just like be blowing people up using like OU teams <laughs> with them. And he did a video with Executor, and he was just like like Executor was sweeping teams. In Gen 1 and 2, it was good because it had a few things it could do, but more specifically, it was because of Explosion. That made it good. Yeah. Gen 3, it still has Explosion, but there are better self destruct slash Explosion users. Mm -hmm. That is true. 
snow axe is still around in Metagross specifically defined explosion. Mm -hmm. I thought it was psychic. It is psychic. It's a grass psychic type. It just gets explosion because reasons. <laughs> uh, quite a few That's things get explosion. Trend. Snorlax gets it, Metagross gets it. And Brendar gets it. Come on, Kangas Khan. Bonyard? Just die. Uh, who are you talking about, Dux? I kind of wanted the other. Oh, Alolan Exeggutor? The oh. grass dragon one. Oh, that thing. That one's good too. Recently, uh, Pokey made the video for that one recently, and like again, was just sweeping through ODU teams. Yeah. Bisharp is hype. It's a power. Oh engine. right. Oh right. I am grinding. Why am I not doing speed up? Because you want me to grind first. Because you're nice. <laughs> yeah, Alolan Exeggutor is dope. It's almost as big as Hakuman's sword. Yep. <laughs> technically, it's bigger. If we're going by the actual height of it. Well, yeah. Technically, Alolan Exeggutor is extremely tall. But the idea of Hawkman running around with an Alolan Exeggutor slapping people with it is hilarious. Uh, I, I can see it now. <laughs> For meme purposes, he is just another Hawkman sword. Yep. <laughs> the memes are strong with that one. I mean, there's a... Just give Surfetch to uh, Alolan Exeggutor. I think I saw a meme of that before, actually. They gave Surfetch to Lolan Exeggutor and Cryogonal for a shield. <laughs> Perfect. Darwin is level 26. I'm actually really excited. Well, I mean, I obviously like Pokemon, but <laughs> I'm excited for uh, Scarlet and Violet. I'm excited to see what's different. I'm excited for the open world. Ooh. I think I am going to have to train Glaceon eight off the wild on my nose just because it's ball and fly. And his on nose specifically just attacks you a bunch. Mm -hmm. Excited for Sprigatito? Yes, and I'm ex excited for Fue Coco. Yeah. And Shockwave now one shots after the Soak. Cool. keep super repels on when I'm battling this breeder all the time and I, every time I realize and I'm like I'm not going through any grass I should have Coco after my dog but it's an alligator I need a good name for weed cat you should literally name it weed cat <laughs> You can call him Wheel Gator. <laughs> Wheel Gator. I'm gonna name Fue Coco Derpy or something. Stupid. <laughs> you know what you could name him, Tuck? You could name him Leafy J. That is a good name for it, actually. It's the best of both worlds. What about 
Silent Bob. <laughs> I mean, Silent Bob will work too. <laughs> Leafy Jr. Yeah, Silent I'll... Bob. <laughs> you can find Wild Rosa right here. The hell? Really? Yeah, it's one of the shaking encounters. That's cool. It's probably rare because I know the main shaking encounter the one of the wise the three wise monkeys. Mm -hmm. Stupid monkeys. All right, on to the next trainer. This will be a little dangerous because she has two flying types in Dembalissi. That's why we teach Vespa Quinn Power Gym. Play Coco and Sprigatito, but you call them Jay and Silent Bob. Hey, I'll name mine uh, Silent Bob if you name your uh, Sprigatito Jay. I will do that. <laughs> but then what is the uh, robo name Quetzley? Dave. Dave. <laughs> Alright, the Amalga died in one hit. Do you also go down in one power gem noctile? Probably not, because you're a little bulkier. Yeah, no. Your moon blast doesn't scare me. You're not even a fairy type. Oh, wait, it's a duck. Either Daffy or Donald. Yeah, but to keep with the um, theme, like if he, I was thinking it, since we're going to be making eggs of them for each other, to keep with the theme, if my Silent Bob and yours is Jay, then his, what would his be? He can name it after that girl from Dogma. I forgot what her name was in the movie. He said movie. Yes, movie. Yes, definitely that. <laughs> It would definitely have to be movie. <laughs> yes. That's actually a hilarious name for a movie. I mean, for a uh, Quaxley. <laughs> movie. <laughs> Bethany, that's her name. See, so, yeah, he can get a female uh, Quaxley and name it. Bethany. I like movie better though. Movie is funnier. Definitely movie. Silent Bob, JM, movie. <laughs> you wish Miltank had a golden shiny. So that it could literally just be movie. <laughs> Yeah, but Miltank's shiny is like green or something gross. Glaceon is trying to learn ice shard. Okay. Ooh, that hurt. <laughs> Level 43 might be what I grind to just so I don't waste that much time. Except Porygon. Porygon's going to level 45. <laughs> Jay and Silent Bob go on a mission with Movie to take down God. Sounds like the makings of a Persona game. <laughs> SMT in general. Yeah. But specifically because they have the disposition of high schoolers. <laughs> I was thinking Persona. Gotcha. Bulldoze. Cool. Hooray, puppy sleeping. Jay and Silent nah, I... would bitch slap you, Narukami. <laughs> they definitely try. They probably get cut. <laughs> well, Silent Bob would watch while Jay tried to bitch slap <laughs> you, Narukami, and got cut. And then jumped by, you know, the whole Persona squad, because that's what they do. <laughs> yeah, Jay would 
be like, I'm going to bitch slap you, and then you will pull out a katana. <laughs> Mace Destruction starts playing. <laughs> Jay would definitely get all out attacked. <laughs> trying to jump them, trying to slap them. And Silent Bob would just be shaking his head. <laughs> Don't air slash me. I flinched, you dick. Don't do it again. Stab. You double flinched me. How dare you? Persona crossover with them would be lit. Yeah, it would. It would actually be hype. <laughs> Thank you. Go back to use a Moonblast. Except you lowered my special attack, which is annoying. Especially when they met everyone's favorite nice guy, Kappa Dachi. They probably get along with Adachi. <laughs> this is the funny part. Don't synchro noise me. Can you just, like, die? I'm tired of this Noctowl. And we're back to Air Slash. Oh my god. Well, no. It crit me. Vesper Queen good? with three though. That's good. Yeah. They this breeder is an asshole. That would have been the fourth mom that this breeder took from me. <laughs> the same breeder. <laughs> what's what's to say that he still won't? Because I switched him to Solomon. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know what they're on today, but Salamis is going to kill this Noctowl. And then I'll switch back into um, Vespaquin on the Blissey. Double up does not hurt me, Blissey. Be gone. Alright, Queenie's almost caught up with the team. Nice. Had a close call with that crit air slash. But honestly, it was like at about half when it hit me, so that's a good sign for the bulk. Yeah. It was just a test for a uh, Vespa coin. <laughs> Debating on whether I should teach it U turn and use it as a pivot also. Yeah, that was that was pretty close, Tux. After spending the last hour level grinding this thing, I would be pissed just like yesterday when I level grinded two Pokemon and then they died. Like at, right at the end of the level grinding, I would be very upset. <laughs> yeah, you turned it. Yes, you turned So we'll still be stabbed on Vespa Quinn. And it will let me switch out. But, you know, that's just to utilize the bulk so that I can, like, pivot with it. Yeah, dodge that air slash, Vesper Quinn. Fuck this Noctowl. Dodge another one. Never mind. I got hit. And I flinched. What? This Noctowl is 100% for flinching my Vesper Quinn. Literally, every air slash has hit me with has flinched it. Oh, really? Yeah, I feel like that's not how that's supposed to go. <laughs> yeah, you synchro noise. Stop being a jerk. Okay, so Darwin has a Laura beam, so now it can hit things really hard. Alright, and then we get our...
our 12,000 experience from the Blissey and hopefully level up. Yes, Ace Trainers are still Karens. They're the Karens of Pokemon Black and White. <laughs> Once I get Leaf Blade, I'm going to give you Power Up Punch. But until then, not yet. Alright, you're at 11k. An attempt not to risk you against that Noctile again. I am going to fight an Audino to level you up for the last level. I think that's the smartest play. And then we face Drayden. Well, the trainers. And then we face Drayden. What? What am I to you fighting in players? Yeah, what what do you uh, what do you mean, Tux? The Ace Trainers? <laughs> oh yeah, he said the Ace Trainers remind him of fighting game players. Yeah, that's yeah. I can see that. They remind you of many a sweat lord slash tear whore. Yeah. That's the ace trainers. Check out my sick Gyarados, bro. <laughs> now, I haven't given this much thought, but what item do I give you? That's the Quinn. Wide lens. No. You're already in the air, so air balloon is not useful. Probably something with oh, no, bug stag. My Izanami with basic combos is sick, sick as fuck. <laughs> Mine too. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I'd be running around like, look at my sick Izanami. <laughs> Doing like challenge mode five combos. <laughs> Hmm, Expert Belt could work on you, because you have good coverage. Honestly, I fought Nano and Koopa enough to the point where I know not to even brag about that, because I know what they're actually going to be doing. Check out my sick Izanami combos. I did 2.5. <laughs> oh, hey, look, I did... I did... Hey, look, I did the most complicated Ragnar combo ever. I I did 5B, then I did 5C, <laughs> and then I did both hits on Hell of Strain. It's the hardest thing you'll ever see. <laughs> no, no, the hardest one is uh, 5B, 5C, 3C. Oh, no, the hardest one is my... Dash, you know, micro the dash. hardest one is my... I need all those C buttons is really difficult. Oh, yeah, CCC is the hardest combo in existence. People can pick who they want. Yeah, they can. I mean, I'm I'm just joking. Obviously. I mean, I play like eight top tiers. <laughs> I do get why some people want to pick top tier, but it's not going to compensate for a lack of overall skill. Exactly. They do be wanting to get carried. But uh, that can't happen, really. You want to get carried, but then you try and you uh, die. <laughs> Because the other players have skill. It's always the most important thing. Fight me, bro. Mm hmm, hmm Dano. Let's get it, Nessie. I mean, even extending that further, new is just 
unless you absolutely know how to fight her, it, it's, yeah, it's no, probably not going to go that well. I was about to say, that extends to low tiers also. If you fight a low tier, you don't know what they're doing to you, you're just going to die. And I guarantee you, for like the two or three good no two or three good Noels that exist, no, not many are going to know how to fight her. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hell, I've been blown up by Celica in tournament. I didn't know what the hell she was doing to me. <laughs> Alright, clean sleep. The clean sleep, Lapras. Nicely done. Low tiers can look like top tiers if you lack no matchup knowledge. Exactly. Especially in Blaze Blue. New, I think, is the biggest defender to that. Yep. It's like, oh, you don't want to play neutral? I guess you're dead. <laughs> Here's the thing even people that do it all the matchup, a lot of people just kind of kill themselves trying to play against New. And it gives her far more opportunities than she, sh than she should have. Alright, Lapras. I'm actually counting on you because I don't want to risk uh, Salamence. And you have Haze, so if they start trying to set up bullshit, we can just say. Wait, no. are you. Is that Drayden? Or... Yeah, I'm at Drayden. Well, this isn't <sighs> him. Fast. That isn't Drayden himself. I'm in the gym. Well, I, say, I know the gym takes a bit to get through. Yeah, because of the freaking. I love that gym. Statue animations. They're really cool, but they take a long time. <laughs> it tried to dragon dance, and then it did dragon pulse, and then I did haze. I was like, no. And then I went first and killed it. <laughs> it's like, yeah, no. This dragon dance shit is not happening on my watch. Don't have a Yachi Berry. Katana's almost level 45. Don't have a Yachi Berry oh, in Dragon Dance? What's wrong with you? Bet. No home training. <laughs> and we do Outrage. Lapras, you are bulky. I know you can take this. Yep. Goodbye, Dragonite. I do not appreciate you. Go straight to jail. Do not pass go. Do not collect two hundred dollars. <laughs> and a dragon air. Okay. Well, I'm gonna heal first. And before dragon air does dragon dance while I'm healing. <laughs> oh, even better. It did thunder wave. Well, that's fine. Nice. You didn't boost yourself. As long as I don't get fully paralyzed, Lapras. Cause you're like that. Use dragon pulses for days. No, I hit it. Don't hate fighting Morikumos. God knows I've got a ton of experience, but fighting them in high M's connections, nah, I ain't about it. Well, that's for me. That's any character. I don't like fighting anybody in high M's. It could be a character, my character beats 10-0, and I would still be pissed. <laughs> Honestly, if I'm fighting someone in high ping, and I'm playing new, I will just go with the net play stuff, and I don't even feel bad about it. Well, yeah, that's a, when I play in Carl, I'll do that. <laughs> I'll be like, yeah, I'm just going to do stuff that you uh, can't you, stop. You don't, you, don't, you don't play neutral when you're in high ping. It, it's just not going to work. Mm -hmm. Actually, what what does it seem to cool again? I know I'm forgetting something important that it gets. What? Glaceon? Yeah, I know there's something good it gets. I just don't remember what it is. Splash. Extra sensory, that's what it was. <laughs> It also gets mirror code at level 46 for some reason. Interesting. I mean, it's definitely a good move. I think it gets that in a regular game. I'm 
All right, life versus healed back up. Didn't use healing items because I'm trying to be smart. Back to where we were. Confuse extra sensory with extreme speed. All right, I beat the lady on the left. So we go right this time. Okay, you see that? Yeah, I can see that happening. Yeah. Especially if they say it really fast. Mm -hmm. Come on, veteran Jerry, bring it on. You and your Dredagon are ready for this work that me and Lapras about to give you. Okay, once I hit level 42, I'm going to go challenge Orisa after going to her gym. Level 45, rather. Mm -hmm. You know, a Pokemon would have been really good in this gym. What? Azumarill. <laughs> I miss this rule. Unfortunate. You're definitely about to use a electric move. Go Smaug. That is even scarier. <laughs> you need to die what right the... now. This amphibian uh tail glow. <laughs> yeah, no, you need to die like right this instant. Why do you have a Shookaberry? Oh no. Oh no. Oh god. <sighs> Plus three Dragon Pulse from Ampharos. Can you live, Salamence? Come on. No. It got a crit too. Wow. <laughs> wow. That is all I can say to that is wow. <laughs> wow. They really want they really wanted your sound instead. They really just bullshit me like that. Like, just wow. To be, to be fair, I think you were dead. I don't yeah, know. I, I don't think... I don't think... At plus three, I really don't think that crit mattered. I don't know. Ampharos' special attack is high, but it's not that high. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it is. I'm pretty sure its main flaw is its speed. Uh, double checking. Let me go check what it is in the base game. This game regularly says fuck you, Tux. Uh, base 165. Huh. Oh, wait, that's Mega. I was about to say, that's not regular. <laughs> <laughs> There's no way that's regular and Base 115. Yeah, it's still high. Y'all really just crit me again. That did, is did they take out something else? No, they tried to. Lapras lived with 20 HP. Bastards. No. And you know what? If I, I knew it had a Shookaberry, I would have just did Outrage. <clears throat> That's the only reason I didn't do Outrage, actually, because I thought it would have the Dragonberry, because it's in the Dragon Gym. <laughs> Stupid Ampharos. Making me not miss my Ampharos anymore. <laughs> also, okay, that was like get... three runs ago. So <laughs> they got a they got a slight buff, but nothing to its special attack. It's still one fifteen. Mm -hmm. And my uh, Darwin is level thirty nine, so I think I go. That is a that. There is no other way to say it. That That is a very heavy loss. Yeah, that fucking sucks. Luckily, it's not as heavy as it could be. I don't know. Losing to Zumarill and Salamence is very, 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 very bad. Yep, but Azumarill got replaced by Lapras, and Salamence is about to get replaced by Haxorus. <sighs> Wait, that wasn't even Drayden? Very hard losses. Yeah, that was a gem trainer. So what is Drayden gonna do? <laughs> Lose. Uh, are you sure about that? I am positive about that. You act like me losing yep. a Pokemon has ever stopped me from getting through to the seventh uh, gym. <laughs> I just need to t once again take a detour to level grind Haxorus up. I... 
I will say I'm getting I am getting insanely lucky just getting all the time that I need. Yeah, don't waste it. <laughs> I am trying. I'm almost done. So from there I can progress for a little bit. No, that wasn't the leader, that was a gem trainer. They're this game's just really rude. <clears throat> Tato said, wouldn't it be cool if we gave you him a sugar berry? <sighs> Alright, and you are impish, which works for me. Mole Breaker, also good. Don't know why you don't have a physical dragon move, but we're going to fix that. Uh, the Roar Beam is one-shotting the, the Autonomous out here. You know what the real loss there was? What? That I just noticed? My what? flyer. <laughs> oh. Wait. Hold up. Pause. Why can Metagross what? learn fly? <laughs> the fuck? Hello? <laughs> um. That's new. Well, you're getting it because I need you to have it. <laughs> That's um, a fine turn of events that could have been a little harder. I mean, if nobody on my team could learn fly, then it was just going to be, instead of Haxorus, I was going to use Altaria. What level is your, your Altaria at? It's not an Altaria yet. It's a Swablu. But oh. I also only have an Axu. Yeah, I was just going to end up using that instead of Haxorus. Yeah. What covers flying? I mean, but he's part psychic already, Tux. He doesn't really need fly to cover fighting types. Like, at all. He's a psychic metal spider thing. <laughs> Giving him fly it is just it may, it, it may not want to switch. It doesn't want to switch in on fighting types though. But it can definitely deal with them once it, if it isn't. Yeah, but giving it fly doesn't change any of that. Bug, grass. You already have good matchups against them though. I have a zero idea why they gave it fly, but I mean, I'm not complaining. <laughs> I have I have a flyer. Not the ideal move that I wanted my Metagross to have, but you know what? He got it. And we're just going to move on from there. <laughs> Glacian is almost level 42. I'm thinking of going the extra mile to get it level 43. <clears throat> you know, I'm just going to go kill these things. It's Let's just see. so I can get as much as possible instead of just something for Odin now. Okay, you haven't really tried to learn anything good besides that. Maybe you can get besides Iron Head? Uh, dual Chop. I just gave my um, Axu Dual Chop. But I was trying to get a move that is good against Fairies so I can just go straight into fighting Aldinos with him. Gotcha, makes sense. Darwin is trying to Darwin's trying to learn extrasensory. Interesting. It's amazing the it gets ice psychic ground coverage. It does not have this normally. Well Tux, most uh most dragon types get body buys, but actually the Swablu line in this game does not. In fact like they made Swablu uh part fairy like they should have in the main series. Well, they made Altaria part fairy. I mean, the Mega is part fairy, but the regular one isn't for a reason. Kind of like how they gave Sceptile, they made Sceptile the type of its Mega Evolution, Grass Dragon. Mm -hmm. And Charizard is also, they actually made it a fucking dragon, like yeah. it should have been them. They made a Fire Dragon, like a Charizard X. And Darwin is level 43. I am done grinding for now. 
trying to fight Alisa. Not yet. Oh yeah, you gotta fight the battle subway dudes first. Yeah, but I'm I am not concerned. Assuming my plan goes. It, if if stuff goes wrong, well, then yeah, there there will be a there may be a problem, but here's hoping. Can you get gunk shot? <laughs> Absolutely not. I don't even know why I thought. You never know. Yeah. I mean, I just taught a Metagross fly, so you don't, you never know. <laughs> I was like, let me try. <laughs> and Agron, Agron and Ryan Fury are getting surf. Yep. I'll never understand that. Do they have the, yes, it does. Awesome. I wish I had the TM for Poison Jab. Because I know it gets that. Then again, it might even learn Iron Head once I evolve it into a Haxorus, so there's also that. You might just be Hax who doesn't learn this stuff. What about Iron Tail, though? You do get Iron Tail. You will get Iron Tail. And we will body these Aldinos and move on. I just, I just bought Light Screen. Actually, wait, I have the Nevermelt Ice already. I can make Aurora Beam even stronger. I really forgot to pick up Power Gem again. I keep looking at my team and looking for Salamence when I want to fly. <laughs> uh, better. Uh, I keep looking for him and I'm like, oh yeah, he, he just died. He's not there anymore. He was actually my <laughs> longest standing team member too. Right then, Porygon 2 doesn't get light screen. I thought it did. Yeah, now the longest standing is Venusaur. Which, to be fair, I was still around for a minute. Yeah, Venusaur's been around for a long time. And hopefully it makes it to the end. Fingers crossed. Knock on wood. Don't curse my Venusaur. <laughs> wait, why can't I... Oh, wait. My strength is in the box. I'll get it later. I'll get it when I go back for Heracross. Oh, you stupid Stampler. Okay, let's do this. Let's do the subway battle. There is no... I don't think I can put this off any longer. I mean, I could train up more stuff, but I really want to take advantage of this chance but that I have. Stop hurting yourself in confusion. Thank you, because this Stantler definitely just tried to kill you. Chandelure and Electros. Both Galvantula and Ariados are really, really bad. Yeah. That is bad news. I actually like those Pokemon design. -wise. And P2 gets the special attack boost. I actually really like Galvantula and Area Yeah, Galvantula is pretty cool. Yeah, Galvantula is pretty cool. But yes, they are quite bad. Galvantula is actually alright. Not according to False Light Gaming. It was good at Gen 5, but after that, it just kind of died. It's got a it's lower tiers. Compound eyes, thunder. Yeah, I mean, Pretty sure it gets... Said, it just gets outclassed in all the lower tiers, too, after power creep. Thank you. And Umbreon is down. Mm -hmm. Alright, Axie, the game is on some bullshit today, so I need you to hurry up and evolve into a fracture so that you can at least fight these Audinos. 
Cortana, you side shot against Chandelure. Good, another ID now. You had mirror tote this entire time and you didn't use it sooner. Anyway. Psychic gem, psychic. That's not okay. Cool. I hit the seven. I think I just won. All right, level thirty-five. Evolve. You don't evolve at level thirty-five. And the sub, the subway duo has been beaten. game is some bullshit. <laughs> what happened? It made me miss two Iron Tails and my Axie almost died. Went down to seven health and then I switched to Metagross. Yeah. I tried to bullet punch, but I forgot I have Fly now. <laughs> well, just a bit more coverage that Metagross has now, I guess. Still very, very, very strange decision, but I'm not complaining. Especially since I need it right now. first because you came with it don't do that thank you Porygon very nice you don't need focus energy What level do you turn into a fracture? <laughs> Actually, level one billion. No, because I know it turns into Haxorus at level fifty. <laughs> so like, I'm level thirty six and I'm still not a fracture. <laughs> so what level? I'm about to look it up. Maybe they. Let's see here. I checked the documentation first just to see if they changed it. Well, for most of the Pokemon that were good already, they didn't change much. It says 38. It turns into Fracture. And then Haxorus at level 48. <laughs> yeah, like, I guess you just have a Fracture for only 10 levels, which, I mean, I'm not complaining about that for sure. I can do things with it, but it feels like a lot of things do its j job better. Yeah, that's how uh, Galvantula goes now. There's just so many things that do what Galvantula wants to do. And Gen 5, it was like really niche because it was like, you know, one of the only mons that did that. I still think Focus Sash Galvantula is a really, really good sticky web setter, though. It is. Yeah, I think that's one of the best sticky web setters. And it also hits hard as well. Yeah. I prefer it to Shuckle, honestly. It's good anti lead too, because it's fast. You can do like yeah. taunt and then sticky web. <laughs> 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 
Why did I use super repel in the in the roller coaster? You don't want none of her nasty Pokemon to touch you. <laughs> and it's a battle. Well, thank you, Audino. Why can't the other Audinos be like you? Why? I did heal pulse. <laughs> Cortana used try attack. Alright, now we're level 38. This is base 60. Dual chop is base 40, but hits twice. I think I'm going to keep dual chop. For now, all right. Axu made it to a fracture. Nice. <laughs> no, you cannot learn breaking swipe. Why not? Because he has a dual chop already. I don't want him to have breaking swipe. <laughs> I mean, if I'm being honest, I want him to learn Dragon Claw, so I don't have to use either one. <laughs> It's not an Audino. What is it? The Molga. I'm gonna kill it anyway, cause it's still like 1k. But not enough. Also, the speed EVs will be nice. Uh, why did it have to be Salamence? <laughs> I should have switched it right out after I thought, well, actually, never mind. He died after I saw the Shifra Berry. <laughs> because if that was the case, I would have been able to just outrage afterward. if you can do this fracture mm -hmm. I don't see why you wouldn't be able to but I'll pull you at the first sign of danger and then bring you back in on the chancy yeah. well so far so good this is the problem though the bulky grottle would have been nice to not miss there huh fracture well it's fine because it's stupid he threw <laughs> Okay. Well, at the very least, this is very promising. Fracture is only level 38 and it's already able to fight this Rio by itself. Nice. Music to my ears. Hey, thanks for the follow. 
Much appreciated, Goku Say twenty three. My life is a wasteland. <laughs> what happened? He hypnosis my uh, fracture. Literally fuming. That was actually the perfect time to ask me to crack the fan because I am over here fuming on that one. That was some bullshit. Once again, I'm just not allowed to have 16 members. Like, I'm really about to just run the game with five. Wait, did. Did Hack. Did. Fracture just did you lose to an unpheasant. They got crit from Uproar. Thanks for the cheer. Goku say much appreciated. I cannot believe you. that <laughs> the I game have really lost fracture now. You you got through the game with so many things, and now the game's just taking them all back one by one. Literally all of them. The game just wants all of them back. <laughs> Said you had your fun. <laughs> Cannot believe that I don't didn't even get to get the to see some of hack through Wait, did I not pick that up? I don't think I did. You know what? Since the game doesn't want me to use a dragon type, I want to go in the complete opposite direction and use a uh, fairy type. Watch them take. They already took. They're taking your fairy types too. Well, they've only taken one. <laughs> I believe in the rest of them. I'm just gonna give you the EXP share and we're gonna go murder this lady with the blissy because she's the one who started this streak of bad luck. You know what fairy I'm using? What? Um, <laughs> Wigglytuff. <laughs> that's the one that's oh, that's gonna be I believe in the power of Wiggly Tough. It's going to save me from this hell. <laughs> I obtained a fresh water. I am at Elisa now. Or rather, to, at the gym. I cannot believe that I have to level grind. Again! Again! <laughs> Goodness. How many times is this game going to do this to me? I just want to fight Drayden. <laughs> but it won't even let me get my team up to fight him. Okay, let me not stay in. Yep, we're gonna get us a wiggly tough and we're gonna spam moon blast against the whole gym since they want to play games with me Porygon 2 should be a definitive wall that's an amulgo expected and frozen Yay! All right, we're learning Drain and Kiss. Already better than Disarming Voice. Oh, wait, I think this is a bullshit one where you can't fall out normally. Oh, yeah, Gem 5 Freeze. It normally isn't like that. It... Uh, 
Um, I know I'm 11 levels higher, but Garbona is outspeeding Luxray. Luxrays are actually really slow. <laughs> if you ever if you ever look at their stats, the Luxray is like really slow for no reason. It's like base sixty speed. Oh. I'll let you become a Jigglypuff, but you're not becoming a Wigglytuff yet. I'll turn you into a Wigglytuff when you make it to level seventy. <laughs> Well, how else will it have the power to turn this run around? And I'm going into Tesla. Alright, we're going to take away Sing for Wish. That is exactly what I like to see. Trying to be a helpful member of the team already. I like that Jigglypuff. Keep that same energy when we go fight Drayden. Just don't die. It'll be an amazing pivot for anything using um, Outrage. That's for sure. I can't believe that just happened to Fracture. Today is a very, very bad day. Actually, the last couple of streams have been just bad. Like, it started with a zoom roll, and it just kept going downhill. A zoom roll, then Gallade, then Muck, then Primate, and now Fracture. Literally back to back to back to back. Yeah, that sucks. I think it's really funny this Blissey used his tailwind turns to use counter. And I got paralyzed and couldn't move both times. <laughs> and also it would have died anyway. Bubble beam, yes. Thank you. Now I have to go back to the Pokemon Center to heal because my P2 is frozen. Are you really para flinching me right now, lady? You know what? This is why no one likes you. <laughs> mm -hmm. She really was para flinching me just now. Five, six. Realize I've been grinding for two hours now, like straight. <laughs> yeah, the game has not given you a break. Yeah, literally, it's making me grind over and over and over and over and over again. <laughs> Of course you can learn Body Slam. Wait, like who can learn Body Slam? Uh, Jigglypuff. Because unlike Clefairy, Jigglypuff is normal fairy, so it's still sad. Which, that is one thing that Wigglytuff has over Clefable. The ghost immunity. Doesn't come into play as often as, you know, 
you would need it to for it to facilitate using it over Clefable, but you know, it's there. Yep. I am thankful I have a sturdy, a uh, sturdy grappler. Yeah, sturdy is a really good ability to have for a nuzlocke, and it comes back when you heal him. Yep. Avio light was absolutely the right move mm -hmm. because. Let me do that, make sure I can't be crit. Oh yeah, you're calm. Yes, you can have hyper voice over Bob That Jones. is exactly what that is exactly why I healed again. And then we got flinched. Flame burst? What? What, the Manetric? What? When I resist it? Maybe he was thinking you were gonna switch. Stupidly. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's not like these ice things are doing a particularly large amount. <laughs> Defense froze drastically. Ugh. Everybody pour one out for fracture. Taken away from us too soon. Man, it's going for a power gem, we resist. Oh, we take that cleanly. He was too based for this world. Good old, what's his name? <laughs> Death Strike, that was her name. I named it after Lady Death Strike. The female Haxorus. Or wanted to be a female Haxorus. He got taken before that. Oh, right. I, I need to remember to give Porygon the Silk Scarf. Yeah, you want those powerful tri attacks? <laughs> Is this thing gonna have an air balloon? <sighs> no, it doesn't. One can only hope. That did a lot of damage, but I'm sturdy, we're fine. This thing is also sturdy. Stellar Rock, die. Thank you for coming. Into a let. I need to heal right now. Oh, boomers. That did. Oh, that's a crit. That explains why that did so much. Bursting the bones. Oh, did I get? Did I get baited? I got fucking baited. Wait, you got baited. This thing went for energy ball. <sighs> Honestly, why? Probably... <laughs> why? What? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Fucking Yanma I'm battling now, and the grass decided to do wing attack and crit my Jigglypuff. It didn't kill it, Is but it... like, why? <laughs> why are y'all doing this to me? <laughs> Hmm. 
That's probably a blessing. I was like, actually, outside of Elisa, I'm not. Why did I bring in Lantern when I clearly saw Energy Ball? Because. I don't know. Okay, Cheryl, sure, go do your thing. Set up the super repel. And we outspeed the electrode, good. Well, I know who I'm putting back on the team. Electrode? Uh, don't matter time. Wait. Oh no. Sorry, Why? in my rantings, I didn't realize that Dwayne got killed. By an energy ball. That sucks. Now, Jigglypuff, your higher stat is your physical attack, right? Hell no. You have 33 physical attack. <laughs> it has it has really bad stats all around. I would not keep it as like a Jigglypuff. Like, it has base 40 speed. Its stats are really bad. Hey, I mean, it's killing this Deerling. <laughs> I'll evolve it at level 50. I think that's a fair level. I wanted to see if it learned Moonblast. And I didn't want to evolve. Oh, well, never mind. I'm going to evolve it right now. Because <laughs> it's learning Moonblast. <laughs> Funny. Well, if I didn't get Glaceon, that Emoga could have been a problem. But I can just offensively check it now. Mm -hmm. Moonblast this grottle, cause fuck it. That hurt. Did you have to paralyze me too? Was that necessary? <laughs> I don't think so. But you know what? That would just let you rock. I'm done. I'm done. Over. Stream's done. I quit. <laughs> I can't today. Nope. Can't do it. Can't do it. I give up. <laughs> you can't catch a break, can you? I give the fuck up. Why is literally every Pokemon that I have getting crit every turn? <laughs> Why does that keep happening? <laughs> Actual I, trash. I don't know. This game is actual trash right now. <laughs> I know that feeling a little too well. This is such a bad day. I've lost four Pokemon since we started. Grinding. Like, not even, like, doing anything dangerous. Grinding. <laughs> well, except for, um... Salamence. Salamence went down in the gym. I lost one, but to be, I'm gonna be honest, I lost one because I was being really careless. That's my problem with it. I'm being careful. They just keep critting me and flinching me. Like, literally yeah, every bit of hacks they can get, they've gotten on me today. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of absurd. Well, Pour one out for Jigglypuff. <laughs> Look at this. Two streams. Gallade, Muck, <laughs> Primate, Salamence, Fracture, and Jigglypuff. And then Azumarill before that. Yep, the stream before that was Azumarill. Crazy. I could go for Swablu. <sighs> Cause Flying Fairy sounds real good right now. Then I can- Wait, it's not Dragon Fairy? I mean, well, Dragon Fairy. But I was thinking about, uh, I can take Fly off of Metagross and give him back Bullet Punch. Fair enough. 
that's if my flaw boot can even become an Altaria at this rate. Like, geez. I'm afraid to use yeah. it. I kind of want to try to use something shittier first. <laughs> Well, there's no doubt about what my item will be for Porygon now. Think about Honestly, it, I, think I do it... know that Altaria works. I used Altaria in my personal run for a while. I mean, Dragon Fairy is just, like, stupid good typing. You gotta get it there first. Yep. Luckily, it's two levels away, and I'm about to EXP share it there. <laughs> Literally, the only reason that I did not evolve Jigglypuff yet was because I wanted it to learn Moonblast. The game literally let it live to learn Moonblast and then crit it and killed it. Everybody, Pokemon Vault White and Blaze Black are ma is a masochist, just so you know. <laughs> it wants to see you suffer. <laughs> I've already dealt with that train multiple times. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> this game is mean. Let me make sure I... Good thing I checked. I forgot to heal. I am glad I did not challenge Elisa just yet. Yeah, you don't want to do that and lose Let me go. else. Be gone, Blissey. Sure, you well, on the bright side, on the bright side, Dwayne probably wouldn't have been that helpful for a while, and by the time it would have been, I probably would have had good answers for everything else. Mm -hmm. It's not great, but it could be worse. Could be a lot worse. This has me wanting to cheese this whole fucking game. I'm about to go get Shedinja, because I do still have that ninja. <laughs> if, if Swablu dies, I'm using Shedinja. Period. No questions asked. And I'm going to cheese this entire game. Everything that ha can't get ghost coverage, I'm using it on. <laughs> or fire. I mean, you know, the weaknesses. Fire, flying, dark, mold breaker. Terrible. You didn't get Dragon Breath. <laughs> Rock. Alright, I have my Dragon Fairy. Okay, I'm throwing Glaceon at the problem. See you on six. I'm gonna instantly teach you play rough. Because we're not playing games with them anymore. Okay, cool. I remember to give it Eevee Light. I thought I forgot to do that. Come on, go. You're slower? Okay, cool. You live. I would leave Dual Wing V, but you're definitely going to be the flyer. <laughs> That is really good to know. What? My Glaceon is slower than the Amalga. Oh. I didn't get punished, thankfully, I but... I say, did something happen because of that, or are you still good? Yeah, I'm good for now. Aurora Beam, why'd you send an Anthros on a Glaceon? Because she dumb. She's stupid? Wait, if Glaceon could one-shot a Zeb Striker... You have coverage, I... Actually, wait, 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 let me detect. Can let me confirm. Mystical fire? Damn it. Cross job. Okay, so it's just the Emolga Electabuzz and Lantern. We're in a good spot. <laughs> You have Psychic, so I don't want to risk that. I 
tell you one thing. These breeders suck. I hate all of them now. Because I can keep killing my Pokemon. It's the freaking breeders. <laughs> I'm just trying to train, and they'd like, oh, I'm going to crit you. I'm going to flinch you. I'm going to parry you. <laughs> okay, so here's the plan. I'm going to go to the Superman 64, then I'm going to go into Subtile, then I'm going to go to Darmanitan and click Flare Blitz. And none of them are going to get killed. Basically, Superman should make a psychic. Whether Cheryl can take it, I'm not entirely sure. Oops. Now, Cheryl should bait a Ice Punch. Yes. Slayer Blitz, Pure Force, Muscle Band. There's no way. Yes. I knew Darden would be worth it. Bullet punch. Well, Soak is going away because Lantern knows heal though. Ooh. Fancy Lantern. Healing the team. Man, that Jigglypuff learned Wish too. I'm, I'm actually really upset about Jigglypuff and Fracture. I'm upset about all of them. All right, I'll be right back. All right. soon to start getting ready for karaoke actually in like half an hour uh, why me why did that have to happen to me today <laughs> this is such a bad stream everything that could go wrong did <laughs> well, I still got 30 minutes to go so hopefully I can bring it back at least a little bit This game was just on some bullshit today, man. Holy shit. <laughs> like, wow. All I can say about that is wow. It's like really on its bullshit. It said fighting trading? Absolutely not. You're gonna be training all day. Crazy. Wait, I'm back. Welcome back. Thank you. Lantern, bulk switch, hydro pump, thunder wave, signal beam. Did you want a 3 2 1 or just go? I. Uh, yeah. Go. Alright. Use fly, Fluffy. Fluffy the Altaria. <laughs> Do it again, Fluffy.
We just gonna fly on these hoes. That's actually the most aggressive I've ever seen this grottle be too. It like oh, really? only attacked my Jigglypuff. It didn't do anything else but attack it. I've never seen like literally all the Pokemon I've trained against her, I've never seen the Grottle just straight up attack nonstop. I have I've seen it a few times. Also, after what happened before, I gave Tesla a heal bell. Probably a smart decision. Will Shockwave ever kill? Find out. Find out eventually. I'm trying to look up Altaria's learn list. Oh, there's Dragon Breath. That's what I was going to look for, but I mean, I guess it's learning it now. <laughs> trying to see if it learns any physical dragon moves, or do I have to, like, outrage? Teach it. Does Altaria get outrage in this? I don't know in this, but I know it eventually gets it. Yeah, I know in the regular game, so it would usually get it. Okay, so Tesla. And as long as I heal, the Samoga should not be able to do anything to me. Even the flying gem, we resist! Light screen. Cool. Normally, this is where Drain would come in, but we're fine. I can just walk. New turn. He doesn't want to use acrobatics. Damn it, what Pokemon number is Altaria? <laughs> I'm in Gen 3. Said 361? No, I think I won. Oh. Congratulations. I won. And I found Altaria. <laughs> what number was it? It is 334. Nice. Okay, so I have to reteach it Dragon Rush because it's physical. Yeah, Altaria has base 95 HP, base 80 attack, 90 defense, 70 special attack, and 105 special defense, 80 speed. That sounds really nice. Yeah. So it's definitely going to be a physical attacker. It gets Dragon Dance at level 54, which I will be teaching it. They thought they got me when they took my uh, Haxorus away from me, but I got another physical dragon. How about that? It doesn't hit as hard, but it's going to be real helpful in this upcoming gym. Because okay, Tesla me. gets a little switch. But I'm not going to teach it to it now. Because for the main game, I do want... For an important battle, I'll teach a bolt switch, but for now, I want Shockwave still. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. What even was my plan for Shock? Oh, I remember. I think... Oh, wait, I remember why I won here across with that piece of lot in the back. What? I said, man, Altaria sucks in the regular games. Why are they making yeah, it so does. bad? <laughs> they made a lot of Gen 3 mods really bad. 75 HP, 70 attack, 90 defense, 70 special attack, 105 special defense, and 80 speed. Why does it have to be yeah, that good. bad? <laughs> yeah, it's not good. 
and I'm pretty sure I am free to use fly. To the PWT for the millionth time. Reteach Altaria Dragon Rush. I finally have a flyer. It's like the... <laughs> for the first time since Volcarona. That was a while ago. Yep. But <laughs> this is this is looking this is looking up. Three apps tree gets it. It would be weird if it didn't get it. Yeah. Okay. Fly Dragon Rush play rough and thing right now. But uh thing is getting taken away for Dragon Dance as soon as it tries to learn it. Nice. I'm gonna go check the grotto in the ranch real quick. Mm -hmm. Are you kidding me? That would have been good to know. What? My Porygon has hidden power ground according to the Pokelink. That would have been really useful for Elisa. Yeah. Well, you could always use it against Clay. You know, the Needle King and Needle Queen. And I've got other things for those two. Yeah. Uh, Glaceon was going to be my intended answer for it. Mm -hmm. But I'll need to double check that thing's speed because I cannot have that happen again. Yeah, I was about to say, what if Needle King is fast? I'm pretty sure it, gets, it has a move that uh, hits Glaceon. Hey. I'll have to check because I do know it gets fire. In, I know it gets Flamethrower Fire Blast. Mm -hmm. <gasps> oh, wait, I can't check the Hidden Grotto here. I don't have Surf yet. Oh. No, you can't learn Cotton Guard. I don't remember what's in them, but I know I have a few co a hidden grottos I can still go to. I lost all the starters. <laughs> Pretty much back to back them too, honestly. Why did I hit Dragon Rush? <laughs> Against an Audino. I meant to hit Play Rough. Yeah, lower that attack stat. Let's go, Altaria. From one dragon flying type to another. Except you're not flying type anymore. Also, that hurt. Don't do that, Audino. Okay, I'm gonna head right back to Nimbasa. And I'm gonna grab up here across and grind. Because I know I'm going to. Part of Nembasa. You think you'd be the gym leader, but it's really Charles. <laughs> also, I'm gonna have to go in 20 minutes. Gotcha, no worries. Wait a minute, I have a different Pokemon that I can use instead of Heracross. Is it Pikachu? Poly Red's coming back out. Oh. Forgot you had Poly Red. Not yet, but I have a means to go get it. Mm -hmm. And it hits everything else that I would need to really hard. I'll just need to double check what it gets by level up. 
Yeah, that's actually the simplest answer because Poliwhirl, Poliwrath can take on the the breeder somewhat consistently at least. Crit para, wow. It did no damage, but like, come on. <laughs> you cannot catch a break. Well, I know you can't hurt me, so. And you can't put me to sleep now, because I'm paralyzed, so I'm just gonna hit you. <laughs> Sorry, no Dragon Pulse for you. You're a physical attacker now. No, I'm not going to give it... The dynamic miss or storm throw. It gets close combat at level 55. Really? And hydro pump at level 60. Nice. That's polyrap specifically. It gets straight. Potions. About 99 of those. That's an aim raider with... That sucks. It's the name of the game. And I will admit that my luck has been a little better than normal. So, I guess Pokemon was just biding its time. It just came for me all at once. And I now have the water stone. Time for a polyrath. I might wait till level 37 for one reason, Hayes. Mm -hmm. It's level 25. I've got some work to do. A little bit. Got to get him ready for Charles. I don't. It doesn't. It may. I may not need it now, but I want it in case I need it later because Polyrath doesn't get it at all. So if I do, so if I evolve it now, I can never get haze. Smith Magius all over again. <laughs> yep, and that's what I'm trying to evolve. <sighs> I'm gonna go back to. Hey, I get it. I tried to do the same thing with Jigglypuff. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I just wanted Moonblast. <laughs> Luckily, I have. Something that I can grind the EXP share. Do I? I was gonna bring Crawd on if he didn't have a crustle in the back. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Wait, isn't Crawd on good for crustle? Bug. Yeah, Excisor. Rock. And you probably outspeed it. Crawd on is water dark. Yeah, but water beats rock, and you probably outspeed it. It has sturdy. You just hit it with two mobs on that turn. I need to kill the buffalo on that turn. Which Crawdot could probably do before the crustal comes out. Okay, so my plan for that is Glaceon, Darmanitan, Polyrath. So I'll kill every I'll kill the first rotation in one go, but I can't take care of the second one in one go 
because of Crustle, so I have to swap out Boost, so I have to swap out Darmanitan. You get intimidated, that That is very, very scary. Dragon Rescue, you non-fairy dragon carrying, I mean egg carrying jerk. <laughs> no, you cannot learn fairy dance. I mean feather dance. Or I could do something a little bit riskier, depending on the strats. And what would that be? I can go lantern and trail one shot the boothlant or crocorock. That boothlant could be a problem. Hey, I say take all the risks that you want. I'm not gonna stop you. You live your best life. Or hmm. I think I know what I have to do. Use Pikachu. I think I have to sack my unpheasant. Or actually, no, I have. Maybe not unpheasant, but I have to sack I something. Know you think unpheasant is the answer, though? So. <laughs> Especially during a triple battle when it can hit everything on the field. I think the safest. But I think my safest answer is a sack. Just gonna keep putting the Arduino right in front of this grotto, knowing that I'm gonna kill it. <laughs> Hopefully. Hopefully this is the last mod that I have to level grind before. Drinking. Wait a minute, my, my Glaceon has protect has detect, so I can I can wait a turn. Oh yeah. And then go go after the Buffalons, make sure everything's in safe land. I think I'll bring. I think I'll bring in an intentional sack so it's guaranteed to die, like a level 11 Patrat or something. Mm-hmm. Though I will say, if Altaria makes it to the Pokemon League, those uh, four battles at the end of Victory Road be a lot easier with Altaria. <laughs> if being the key word. Yep. The plan is for everybody on my current team to make it there. Luckily, Altaria is not a terrible Pokemon in this one. <laughs> I can't believe Altaria's stats are that bad. You know I used to use one, right? In OU. Like, what? I never realized really? that the stats were that bad. <laughs> I mean, I guess it eight hits because it's just, you know, the defense and the special defense, but like, geez, that's like atrocious. <laughs> Yeah, 
I used to use it for Star Wars since it had roots and natural cure. So I okay, I get, I got really scared for a second. Okay. I thought it, I could not find my EXP share. I could not find my EXP share. But it's on land time. I'll wait for an Mbasa, that's why I'm not the... What a crazy stream this has been. <laughs> oh, very. It's been a wild, not great ride. <laughs> this has been like one of those rickety roller coasters at the old carnival. <laughs> you know, the ones, <laughs> the ones that no one should definitely ever be on. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Or a true tragedy. <laughs> or if I'm feeling luck. Hmm. That sigil if needs to go down in one hit, that's for sure. I think I have I think I have a strategy that I can use with my current team. Mm -hmm. Still main ball would suck. Where instead of where you know, yeah, where instead of the the mana time that I bring in immediately, I would instead bring in Porygon. Hmm. One more level until Dragon Dance Altaria is online. I think I bench Superman and Cheryl for this for Charles, mm -hmm. just so I can have, just so I can have Pokemon that if I need to sack something, I can. All right, Plasma, let's go. Oh yeah, I forgot about them. <laughs> Oh, it's a single battle. 
With a special attack boost on Polygon. Not shabby at all. Into a King Lair, which we have discharged. There's Dragon Dance. You can forget Sing for that. I wouldn't mind leaving Sing on you if I didn't need you to fly. Will they go Arkin? So they go into Arkin, which I can discharge. Although, well, no, Venusaur has Sleep Powder. Oh, and they have Swoobat, which I can discharge. Swept by Porygon, too. And Stork Power did six damage. <laughs> the the most stored power. I remember before in the last run, this is where everything started to go south. Yeah, I mean this is where it gets hard. Or it starts to. Ninety percent sure this is a double battle. It is not? Okay. Uh, another special attack boost. I'm gonna try to make it work. But having a good Pokemon like um, Porygon on your side this time is definitely gonna make a difference. True. Yeah. I was going to switch out, but with the special attack boost, I think my best call is actually to stay in and see what I can do. No. And to Don Fan, I am not afraid of you. The, honestly, the only thing I fear that can one-shot my Corian 2 are fighting... Or that! Wait, or what? It used Endeavor. Oh. Wow. Sturdy Endeavor Dawn fan is so toxic. And I guarantee you it has Ice Shard too. <laughs> I forgot about that. If it has Ice Shard, then I can probably go into stop and do Darwin and guarantee a kill. again it did it again <laughs> yep i'm killing this thing now yeah that's about to say i guess it predicted the switch there's a china go that yeah, superman's naturally bulky so i can go into that to my core gun Lunge, yep, we resist. I am really glad I am really glad my Glacier not priority. And this black sludge is already gonna put in work. Alright, sick. One shot on Chimaku. One shot on Kangaskhan. Lit. And I mean it's no question on the blissy. What well, chancy? Cortana takes that. Cortana took that hit far better than Superman did. I accidentally, I accidentally used eye propulsion on my septile. That's not good. 
because I wanted to heal Darwin just in case I need it again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and it also uses poison powder. That's not good. All of the poison. All of the time. Oh, wait. It's poison powder, not toxic. We're fine. Not as scary. Wait, why did you load this time? Stupid roll. Welcome this down. Into Watchog. Okay. Yo, good night. I'm talking to the puppy. <laughs> gotcha. Although, I, while I was turned away, I don't know what the hell happened to my Altaria. But, uh, it's down to 59 health from the Genghis Khan. I have no idea what happened. It's good to move as Tailwind is. No. This could be pu I could be punished for this if it doesn't kill, uh, which it does. That's why I even gained another level. You know what? <laughs> what? I just got crit again. <laughs> did it survive? It did. But I'm tired of seeing the word critical hit come up when I get hit. <laughs> Where are their critical hits? Why can't I crit them? I don't think I've crit the opponent today at all. <laughs> oh, Yikes. wow, okay. The useless crit on the Chimico because <laughs> I just said something. <laughs> Ooh, can I get two levels out of this one, Chancy? One. Close. Are you good to end there, or did you want to fight Charles today first? I want to give that a shot, because I have a, I have an idea of what I can do. Okay. Yeah, I'm down to wait for you to fight Charles. Go 
go get one of your toys. Leave my slippers alone. Gotta love puppies. Indeed. Hi, puppy. And now you're attacking my road sleeve. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. All right, Power Gem. Almost forgot about that move. It's a good move. I'm gonna go see if Porygon can learn that, just so I don't have to hit my own cru just so I don't have to hit my own team to discharge. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Probably be better. Actually, wait a minute. That. <laughs> CM50, CM66 power gem. Who can learn it? Me. I can learn it. No. Porygon 2 cannot learn power gem. Interesting. Can't learn Giga Drain. Sorry, Altari, the trial run. Although you should be able to one shot all of her Pokemon. Keyword being should. Oh, ran into a battle. Alright, the goal goes down to one. Noctowl is also down in one. Nice. And Blissey's definitely going down in one, so we're good. Yeah. 13,000 experience points. Damn you and your blissy of wonders. <laughs> Why can't you only have the blissy and not have the first two that keep killing Pokemon? <laughs> yeah. Funny how Porygon can't learn Power Jump, but that Persian can. Indeed. Actually, I think I have a different move order. <laughs> At least for how I... I'll play it safe. I'm healing my altar, yeah? Excel Glor, Sergilith, Rock. Alright, now I can attack because that did literally nothing. <laughs> that hurt.
Oh good, the tailwind petered out. That's not nice. Altari is looking like it's going to go the distance. And I know for a fact Altari works on Drayden. Heal. May not even need to boost to kill that uh, Emolga now. That would be nice. <laughs> now you're doing on your harness. That does not look comfortable. Puppies. <laughs> ah, decisions, decisions, decisions. Okay, so I have Dwebble that I've got Dwebble because of Sturdy, I it can hit, take two hits, meaning it could potentially get doubled into mm -hmm. if I need it to do that. Glaceon has to nuke Sigilith. I'm sure it'll be fine. Why would I want you to learn Sky Attack, Altaria? No. Sun Grace is such a crazy ability for him to get. <laughs> Glaceon, oh, yeah. I cannot get over that. That's such a crazy ability to give to Glaceon. Hi. And you know, Glaceon gets Water Pulse too. It does? Yep. Time to guess by TM? Yep. Every time I had a Glaceon, I ran Water Pulse on it. Because, I mean, why wouldn't I? <laughs> it's just a good move for it. Indeed. Catch those switch ins. Slightly different idea, but... <sighs> Alright, Altaria is literally one level away, so I only have to battle her one more time. Then I can fight Drayden. Well, I can fight his gym trainer some more. <laughs> Uh, 
That looks so uncomfortable, but he's having fun with it. I may need to sack B-52, just in case. Oof. Mainly just a second. So I can hit Excelgor and then get into Dawn after. That's a rough sack. Sometimes it's just the way it has to be. True. I think... I think all my other options are even riskier. Unless I want to train, but I think I can do this without. Um, triple battles goes what? The left, the first Pokemon's on the left, the second one's on the middle, and the third one's on the right, right? Yes, so... Middle Mon is the first Mon. And Wait, the, the middle one is first? Yeah, and then the one underneath that is on the left, I think. So yeah, looking at your party, B-52 would be in the middle right now, and then Cortana would be on the left, and Darwin would be on the right. I think. Don't quote me. I would look it up. Because <laughs> I don't actually know. But I think that's the way it is. Alright, now what item do I want to run on you? Is Life Orb too aggro? I feel like it might be too aggro for... And Altaria. Ooh. Wide lens. You can already Dragon Dance, but both of your best attacking moves are real low accuracy. I'm just going to make sure that they just don't miss. <laughs> First one, the first one becomes left, the second one's in the center, third one's on the right. That's even uglier. <laughs> that makes even, I mean, it makes sense, but it doesn't. Because, like, if you look at your party, that means the Pokemon that's the furthest on the left in your party is going to be on the right. <laughs> For, out of the three that you send out first. B-52 would be on the left. Yeah. But Cortana would be on the right. Yeah, I feel like weird. <laughs> yeah, I see what you mean now. <laughs> like that's weird to me. Mm -hmm. Well, I am back in the gym. Altaria is level seventy-one, and I'm ready to kick some dragon ass. No time like the present. Let's go. Yes! Battle! Alright, Altaria. I know that we can just sweep this gem with you because I did it before. But let's hope that I. It's Selgor, Sigilus, and Kratera! Oh. Shelgon, Bagon, Salamence. Okay. And then on the opposite side. Yep. It's like this trainer's here to taunt me. Because <laughs> I went through all of these forms. Ooh, I could just do this. Forgot this was an option. Glaciate. Bagon died. Alright, I'm rotating. Thank God for the tech on Glaceon. 
Why does this have to be a rotation battle? Yes, kill it. Kill it, Altaria. Kill it. Please one That's shot. That's the crocodile's turn. Which means I think we live. So close. Well, Victini is bulky, so I'm gonna go to Victini now. Because you wanted to do a stupid rotation battle, like a jerk. Rotation battles suck. I actually don't mind triple battles too much. Triple battles are fine. Rotation battles suck. <laughs> <laughs> They're just dumb. I wish Gen 5 had more inverse battles. All oh, right, I forgot that's when those are introduced. Mm -hmm. They just rarely came up. Naturally, the Solomon has Earthquake. Come on, Victini. Come on, Victor. Come on, Vic. Oh my god, it got a crit! <sighs> you need to kill your Victini? Yes. It got a crit and killed by Victini. You cannot catch a break. Literally, just no breaks. Now I have to go after Volcarona next stream. To even have a fire type. Like, this is bullshit. P52 is down, but this is fine. That was planned. It did a lot more than I thought it would. It got two burns, which is really good. <laughs> and the Croc Arc is down, so now I can bring Tesla in. Mm -hmm. And to Gerard again. Okay. Why are there four floors in this gym? <laughs> that was some bullshit. I guarantee you my Victini would have lived that earthquake if it didn't get a crit. Probably. Why does this game have like 90% crit ratio? Like, what is that? It wasn't enough that everything else has been critted me all day and killing all my Pokemon. I had to get crit again in the gym and lose another Mon that I needed. Sorry, Victini, you will be missed, yada, yada, yada. I'm tired of saying it today. <laughs> it's just been way too many already. I don't even want to think about it. Just go. <laughs> I guess in the meantime, for now, I'll put Kabali on in my team. As a bulky defensive steel type, he'll make a good pivot while I'm fighting Drayden's stupid gem. Okay. And who knows, he might even do some sleeping. You know, I don't even know why I got scared of the Salamis with Altaria. That is a good question. It did Dragon Dance and I switched, forgetting that I'm Fairy, and it probably can't hit me with anything before I kill it. Gosh, this is your learn list? What the fuck, Kabalion? <laughs> Ew. 
This is terrible. You're level 50. <laughs> Helping Hand, Leer, Quick Attack, Scary Face, Metal Claw, Quick Guard, Double Kick, Iron Defense, Retaliate, Block, and Takedown. That is everything that this Kabalion has learned between level 1 and level 50. Yikes. Absolutely terrible. <laughs> Music to my ears. Hey, thanks for the follow, uh, Dark Trunks. You said say more bussy, <laughs> but why though? <laughs> I mean, more bussy, but. <laughs> All right, where am I flying to? Right, Opalu said city. I may have to sack. Go Manitan, because all my other options are even riskier. You're gonna sack Darn Manitan? I'm... If I do that, I'm going for Blaziken right after. What about B-52? That's already gone. Oh. But it did... But it was... It did exactly what it needed to do. Okay. Or maybe? Okay. Now I have to do this stupid triple battle. Again? Or? No, in Drayden's gem, there's a double battle and a triple battle. Oh, gotcha. What I have to do. Um, this one should be in the middle. Or not a double battle, a rotation battle and a triple battle. That you have to Yo. do the paralysis coming in clutch. Oh, nice. <clears throat> Gibble, Garchomp, Gabite. Well, at least you only have one threatening Pokemon over there. <laughs> Charles is down. Sick. Alright, so we're just gonna aim everything at Garchomp, and whoever kills him first wins. <laughs> it's just uh, how this triple battle is going to start off because I'm not scared of Gibble or Gabite. But Garchomp mind definitely I... needs to die. <laughs> mind if I go check the Drift Battle encounters real quick? Nah, you can go. Wait, you mean like what Pokemon you can find? Um, no, what they are. Oh, I mean, yeah, I don't care. I know you have the I'm whole gonna do another battle. The Sinnoh. Sinnoh, I mean, yeah. <laughs> that was the right move. <laughs> that battle did not go to... It, I, that battle did not go entirely to plan, but that was about as much as I could have asked for. Mm -hmm. Getting the... Getting the burn on the crack rock and Bufulant were huge. Because it let me, it let me wow. do, let me say, but B-52 may have gone down, but I could not, honestly, I don't think I could have done it as, I don't think it would have gone nearly as smoothly about it. Mm -hmm. That is crazy that that turn just happened the way that it did. This game is being a real dick today. <laughs> Weird. It, it's the inverse. You're getting the worst luck, and I'm getting really good luck. Hey, I had really bad luck my first run, too. <laughs> Just this run has been really smooth. You know, I was fighting this Gabite, and this Gabite straight up said, uh, let me dodge three of your Pokemon's attacks, and then use Raging Fury with random targets and automatically target your uh, Metagross. <laughs> I was like, cool. I guess, if you say so. Okay. 
I'm I'm gonna head back to the Pokemon Center just to go. One, so I can box my stuff, and two, I can grab a full team, and I'm going to head to Drift Hill mm -hmm. and check the encounters, and we can call it. Okay. Well, I am actually at Drayden, so I'm going to fight him, too, while we're at... Go for it. That, that should give me time. Rubble also came in handy because of the sturdy... It because of the starting and how low level it was, they auto target it. Mm -hmm. It sucks that I had to sack some stuff, but hey. that was probably the best that was probably the best strategy I could have gone for. I was about to say it's better than getting wiped. It's better than losing stuff it's better than losing stuff that I actually need. Mm -hmm. That may be another fire type in the dust. What type of? Well, maybe the two did well. I mean, that's just the name of the game at this point. If you have a fire type, it's dying. I told you Victini was going to catch it. I knew it. I called it when I got it. I said I'd caught the Victini, but it's definitely going to get murdered. Because this game hates fire types. Alright. Let me go buy some Pokeball so I'm not stuck with a normal Pokeball. Flashbacks to Volcarona ensue. Speaking of Volcarona, I'm actually thinking of going for it again. Oh, yeah? Well, that makes two yeah. of us. <laughs> Do I have a berry to weaken Dragon type? Well, actually, I don't need that for you. But to weaken. <sighs> Like poison or steel type moves. Probably steel, but I'm more likely to have. I do not. I probably could go. I actually know that I could go buy some, but I'm going to go buy him instead. <laughs> Bring and on Glacia Your gem is in, it has been hell, so I'm about to kick <laughs> your ass. I guess Drayden's gym has lived up to his reputation of elite dragon types. Yep. He leads off with Dredagon. I lead with Altaria. I don't think this thing can hit me super effectively if I remember correctly, so I'm going to start dragon dancing. Yeah, that's his best move to hit me with a superpower. And Wait, I'm do you get the old do you get the old amber from where do you get the old amber from i actually don't know maybe one of the um elite four members gives it to you i know i have it but i don't remember where it came from and you know how they do like those random pop-ins where they just give you a bunch of fossils i'm pretty sure the fossils they give you are randomized the skull fossil Well, Dritagon, it's been real. Plus three should be enough to sweep your whole team. Goodbye. The keyword is should. I don't see what could leave. I mean, Altaria is base 95 uh, attack now, so plus three is pretty high. Oh, hey, Shaman, what are you doing there? Resist wing. Goodbye, Haxorus. Don't forget to catch that one on the bridge. You might get a that's exactly like cool. I did. Uh, that's what I'm looking for. Trying to see what's here. Uh, he has a Salamis with Intimidate, of course, but plus two <laughs> is definitely enough to kill you. That's for my Salamis. Now you don't have one either. <laughs> Jerk. Oh, he has his own Altaria. Isn't that cute? Be a shame if my Altaria missed play rough with the wide lens at a 10% chance to miss. <laughs> oh no. And then this his is Altaria begin. did Cotton Guard. So the, yeah, that's great. This is, how it, this is how it starts. Yep, now his Altaria has plus 6 defense. That's awesome. <laughs> 
It could be dead, but you know. Why would that happen? Okay, we got a battle. What do we got? Pop it again. Lit. I mean, hop it's good. Actually, in my personal run, I ended up having to use one by the time I got to the Pokemon League. I had one last run. Yeah, but you didn't use it. <laughs> well, I mean, you did eventually, but not because you wanted to. It gets Prankster. I don't think mine had Prankster. I'm not sure. Prankster I'm pretty sure I did. Yeah, but... Sleep Powder is stupid good. <laughs> That's how I kept setting up um, sweeps on the Elite Four. I kept using Sleep Powder and then uh, U-Turning. Okay, we are we are through this, arguably the scariest part of the game, for for a bit. Can I get a crit? Y'all yeah, been giving them crits all day long. Can I get a crit, please? On this plus six no Altaria. Crit. No crits for you. You know what? I'm I don't even want a crit. I don't need shit from them. I'm switching to Lapras and I'm killing it with that. Because it has physical defense boost, so I'm about to hit it with Ice Beam. Cause that was real cute, them making me miss Play Rough. This Altaria has a miss Play Rough, by the way. Even though it has leftovers and not a wide lens. Play Rough is 90 accuracy, and I have a wide lens. How did I miss? Please tell me how I missed. <laughs> what, what are the odds of that happening? Normally, it's 10%. <laughs> well, with the wide lens? With uh... the wide lens, it's less than that. <laughs> I, I would have to look up exactly how much the wide lens does. Which I mean, oh, I wait, I can even... I can check the Hidden Grottoes, Charstone Cave... Yeah, you got some uh, encounters to do. Some really good encounters, potentially, as well. Let's see here. Wow! The moves used by the Pokemon have their accuracy increased by, wouldn't you guess it, 10%. So again, I ask, how did I miss Play Rough? <laughs> Watch it round down. But wouldn't it still be a hundred percent? Even if it rounded down, it would be a hundred percent because it's already ninety percent, and then the wide lens adds ten percent. So how um, did I miss? <laughs> I'm so confused. Probably something, probably something specific with the math. And I mean, extremely specific. That was probably like a point one percent chance. Like I'm not even that I'm bullshit. Thinking, I'm thinking, <laughs> I'm thinking lower. I'm thinking lower than that. Yeah, that was probably like point zero 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 one or some shit. And the game was Basically, like, would it be funny if you just missed? You pulled the fate five star. Yep. <laughs> oh no, Charizard did outrage on my Lapras and didn't even do half. It'd be crazy if I did surf, wouldn't it? It'd be pretty crazy. Dominatan made it through. That's what I was worried about, to be honest. I'm going nowhere near that plasma house. Lapras, why didn't you one-shot it? <laughs> oh, I really, I really do have plenty of options. This cave that I forgot about? Yeah, both of them. You get the PWT cave, I... too, after uh, the clay. Yeah, I was about to say. I wonder what the odds of Charizard hurting himself are. Probably higher than the odds of me missing a hundred accuracy move. <laughs> and he hit me anyway. Cool. Thank you for not getting it. Sancho Golet there. Larry on Dick Fit Golet, Honex, Azumar. Yeah, get banned. Azumar? <laughs> Wait, what'd you get? Oh, it's... No, I'm looking at the... I'm looking at the encounters. Oh. Anything Fishing cool? here is not worth it. You can get Wild Azumar out at 5% rent. That's not bad. Golet at 10%. I'll be honest, that's what I want. A Golet? Yep. Oh, look, he has a TM for Dragon Claw. Isn't that nice? 
Uh, too bad Altaria doesn't have claws. <laughs> you know who Onyx. has claws? Solomon. You know. Solomon's had claws. Wait a minute, where's the metal coat? It's in there. You get the metal coat Heal in that uh, place. Oh, I can't. They can one Dragon Claw. Okay. They must have buffed that because Altaria definitely did not used to get it. So this is a really good encounter. I'm not teaching it because Wide Lens Dragon Rush is better. Yeah, having a Steelix in a Nuzlocke run sounds broken. So much defense. Wait, why'd you go for Coiled and use Dragon Breath? Dragon Breath. He wanted the para. <laughs> Alright, I said 30 minutes, and that would have been 40 minutes ago. <laughs> so, <laughs> I should probably go after you catch that Onyx. <laughs> Alright. Dragon Dance? Why, why does this thing have an actually good move pool? Dragon Dance. Oh gosh. Dragon That's Dance sick. Coil. Dragon Dance again. I'm going to poison this thing. Well, if nothing else, despite all odds, we made it through Drayden today. So. <laughs> Cool. Somehow. Yeah, made it through Drayden. I lost Solomon's, but at least everyone else is still alive. Well, that I you lost a lot. Of, you lost a lot more than Solomon's. Yeah, I lost like six or seven mons today, which is actually terrible. Like they really, really were coming for me with the crits today. Not to mention that. That Altaria myth was just the <gasps> icing on the cake. Because, like, literally... I, I fucking ran away on accident. Wait, what? I ran away on accident. Oh. That sucks. I'm not... You know, you probably could have hit him with a poison move. I was afraid to. Yeah, but he quad resisted. Don't you have, like, a uh, physical poison move now? Onyx has good uh, defense, so he might have been fine. Don't forget the thick clubs inside of that mound of dirt, too. <laughs> Next to Norman. Not the thick clothes, uh, rare bones. Oh, hey. Um... Okay, this is looking. Did you get a Yan Mega? I got a Yanma. Damn. That's what I wanted over there. <laughs> they gave me a Dunsparce. Those savages. If I had a quick ball on the dust ball, I would have been able to catch that. That's sad. Oh, we caught the Yanma. Nice. Well, yeah, Mega is definitely I... a good catch. I'm... I'm going to miss that Steelix. Yeah, that Steelix would have been so good. <laughs> Alright, Kabalion, you are not a permanent member of this team. You are a placeholder. Because next stream, I'm going to catch Volcarona. And I'm going to get Volcarona, whether it likes it or not. I'm not asking. <laughs> I have the perfect Pokemon to battle it with. To battle and weaken it. 
thick fat Venusaur. We'll come in, we'll sleep powder, we'll spam leaf storms till it's low, and then we'll catch it. But um, I do have to go. All right. But this has been, I mean, parts of it were fun. <laughs> Indeed. Other parts not so fun. <laughs> But um, overall, I mean, productive day. I trained six Pokemon to die. And then the seventh one I beat with Drayden with. So, you know, all's well that ends well. You got through Charles deathless. Or, you know, not deathless, deathless, but like meaningful deathless. Yeah, we made it through. But, uh, yeah. Probably gonna stream again tomorrow. I'm probably gonna play Blaze Blue tomorrow. I'm trying to get. I'm gonna get back on my stream schedule tomorrow. So like, my gotcha. one. So Blaze Blue Mondays and Fridays, and then Persona Wednesdays. So I might change Persona until Rollback comes out. Cause literally, I mean, I'll, I, there's people on the Discord they'll play, but like nobody is <laughs> on Persona like regularly anymore. Rollback Kai. That game really needs Rollback to come out. It really does. And they said summer, so the, the clock's ticking. We're almost in August. All right, you going to get going. Take it easy, man. Yep, peace out. And thank you, everybody, for watching. I really appreciate you watching my suffering. Thank you to the new followers. Appreciate you guys as well. Um, I'll be streaming Blaze Blue tomorrow, so uh, tune in for that. Bye-bye. <laughs>